हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मुकेश एंड वेलकम टू सीक्वल प्रैक्टिस सेट एट सीरीज सो इफ यू डिडेंट गेट ए चांस टू वॉच ऑल द वीडियो सीरीज सो यू कैन गो एंड वॉच ऑल द वीडियो विच इज अवेलेबल अंडर द प्लेलिस्ट सीक्वल प्रैक्टिस एक्सरसाइज विद द सॉल्यूशन सो आई ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड टोटल एट वीडियो सीरीज ओके सो सेवन्थ इज द स्कूल प्रैक्टिस सेट and one is the amazon sql interview question so just you can go one by one and if you want to learn the concept of the sql in the english or the hindi language i already uploaded under the playlist uh, you can see you, we have total 61 video in the hindi language and the 61 video in the english language and you can learn the complete concept and you can do the practices so each and everything i am providing uh, by this channel uh, but if you want to download the training material like the uh, the practice set and the interview question topic wise explanation and the all the video you can just uh, go with the login with the pandeguruji.graphy.com and uh, just you can uh, scroll down you can find here the a download sql training video material important interview question with the answer uh, which is available only 549 uh, and this is the very limited offer so just you can click in this uh, uh, link and uh, just you can enroll in this right corner of the button so only one day left uh, so it will be go close so click on the enroll now so once you enrollment is completed you able to download more than uh 300 uh, important real time query based interview question uh with the answer also available in the detail explanation uh also cover all the uh, important query uh, command we have the pdf file or each and every definition and this course will very helpful to you crack uh, the uh, sql developer database developer data engineer reporting analyst and data analyst and data scientist if you want to join with the one to one training also uh, you can also enroll uh, on this uh, link which is the complete sql uh, real time live training which will going to start in the next week okay and uh, if you want to demo uh, just you can click on the demo session so let's start with this video uh, practice set uh, 08 and see i will discuss uh, some important interview question which is the totally on the uh, real time query based interview question so let's see what the question is there so the first question is the find the uh, average yearly income of the agenting uh, spanning occupation so if you attend the interview uh, they will ask you uh, like practically this type of the question only okay they will ask you into the written test or the uh, also uh, one to one uh, interview also they will put some type of the scenario based question that if you able to solve all this question definitely you solve the question in the interview the second question is they find the total number of bachelor english education customer so how many customer have the bachelor english education under the customer table the next question is the find the seventh highest yearly income of the customer okay so they will ask you uh, how we can find the uh, i think this is the very uh, repeatable question uh, we will get into the interview find the nth highest salary so i already uploaded couple of the question related to but uh, in today i will go to show you in the different way how you can solve this question in the different way now the next question is the find the sixth highest yearly income of the customer bachelor english education so uh, we need to be find the sixth highest education for the education uh, which have the bachelor okay and uh, last one is question is the find the list of the customer that don't have the middle name so i will tell you uh, what the actually the student doing the mistake to solve this question question number 5 okay so basically this question look like very simple but uh, if you go to the interview if you s- solve in the simple this is the very big mistake so uh, keep watching i will tell you uh, how we can solve this question so let's jump to the uh, sql server okay so i have sql server i connected the sql server 
and also connected to the database so i am going to show you each question how you can solve the practically so let me open the new window okay so i open the new window the first question first you need to be understand the question what question is asking so find the average yearly income of the just in spanish occupation okay so first we need to be uh, find out which column this information is available okay so uh, let me connect with this uh, table so i am putting here the uh, select star from uh, table name okay so this is the my table name is there so my table name is the dim customer table is there so once you execute this dim customer table uh, we have the so question is asking that uh, question is asking that uh, just in spanish occupation so you need to figure out which column is the related to the uh, occupation okay because in the uh, in the in the interview they will not tell you the what column so you need to be uh, figured out so you need to you can see the spanish occupation is there so uh, we also have this column name as spanish occupation the income is jeston okay so you need to be figured out which jeston is available in this uh, column so they are asking uh, the yearly what is the average yearly income so we have the yearly income so for the find the average yearly income you need to be use the average uh, aggregated function so i put it the spanish occupation average yearly income i given the column name elias column name if you not give this column name uh, the output will be so no column name is there from the table name and i am grouping by the spanish occupation so if you execute this line of the code you will get the all the occupation a spanish occupation but my question is asking justin so you can see justin is coming so in group by clause we need to be use the having clause okay so you need to use the having clause for the filtration because we required work only for the justin so if you execute this part of the code you can see the average yearly income is the 92 uh, 9355032 so to solve this type of the question uh, you need to use the concept of the aggregated function group by fun uh, group by and the having clause now now the next question is find the total number of bachelor education uh, in english education customer so total number we required the count function here and the same you group by and the having clause you can uh, use here so if you use this function you can see so what is the meaning of count one okay so count one is basically used to uh, increase the performance but uh, you can also use the count star okay so if you use the count star so you will get the same so same uh, count okay but uh, the count star we have the performance down so better you can use the count one but what is the difference between count one count star count star have the bad performance count one have the good performance but if you have the large amount of data then you you can see the impact okay now the next question is the find the seventh highest yearly income of the customer so i am going to show you in the by using the temporary table so i you know the dense rank is basically used to find the ranking uh, if you want to learn the dense rank concept you can go and the video tutorial i upload already uploaded the in the detail okay uh, in the what is the dense rank is there so i i storing all the data into one temporary table okay so in this temporary table i we i have all the data uh, which is the dense ranking data so now if you execute the this uh, table select star from table name here if you execute the select star from table name we have the rank test okay so you can see uh, we need the seventh ishl so rank test equal to seven so total 571 have the seventh ishl and you can see all the yearly income is the same like one lakh okay next question is the same related to the uh, income okay and it's highest early but little bit different they asking based on the bachelor english education okay so uh, we use the partition by here so in the previous question we not use the partition by because they ask the entire customer 
but if you have the some grouping the data based on the some column uh, you can use the partition by english education uh, order by yearly income and you need to put the uh, same the into temp table so if you execute we have the different ranking for the we have the different ranking for the each bachelor education so if you put this select star from this table uh, we have the different ranking for the each english education like uh, high school we have the different ranking partial school we have the different ranking no, but the question is asking they want to bachelor degree six higher salary so i use the english education equal to bachelor and once you execute this one okay you can see this is the uh, sixth highest salary of the bachelor so if you have any type of the question which is related to the grouping the data you need to be understand they not put the question you can see in this question uh, not mention anywhere that group the data but you need to be understand the question find the six highest salary yearly income the customer of bachelor education so they asking for the bachelor education english education only they means you need to be group the data or uh, like for example they ask the we need to fifth highest salary of the uh, it department i need the second highest salary of the hr department and the bpo department so basically in this situation you can use the partition by clause now the ne next question is the uh, find the list of the customer that don't have the middle name so basically uh, normal student they will put like where clause like this uh, uh, this query using okay but uh, if you uh, put the dim customer where middle name is equal to null okay middle name is uh, null so basically uh, this is the incorrect okay if you put like this because they is null is handle only the null value but if suppose if any value we doesn't we have the empty value then the output will be not come okay that is the reason you need to use the is null function uh, that handle both the null value and the empty value so there is no miss of the chances of the empty value so i put it where is null is equal to middle name empty so if you execute this part of the code you will get all the name which have the you can see this value have the empty but the 11001 is not coming when you put the is null is equal to uh, is null so 1100 is not coming but uh, if you put the is null function here you can see both the value is coming okay so to solve this type of the question always use the is null function so hope you understand the concept of of the question if you have any doubt and if you're going to attend the any interview okay just uh, you can send me all the question in the video description definitely i will get it i uh, reply you and if you have any question and doubt you can put in the comment box and uh, please uh, hit the like button and please share to anyone who required this type of the video thank you so much